I am about to give birth to my firstborn. Uh, having a girl, named her Isabella Grace, and it has just been quite a journey through the whole pregnancy. It was um, 31 weeks and five days when we were admitted. And uh, we went through triage and found out that we were in uh, preterm labor and had a placenta abruption, a large blood clot, and the doctors came in and told us the next morning that we were going to have an 85% chance that we were going to have to deliver Isabella. I immediately went in to see her, assessed what was going on for the pregnancy, realized that there were some simple steps we could take to help decrease the chance that she would deliver over two months early and then continue to follow her as she progressed through her hospital stay. Being here for the last seven weeks in this high-risk unit, I've really had the chance to see that the heartbeat of the organization um, is the staff and especially the nurses who have just been caring for me day in and day out. It's so important that the people in the environment and the environment itself fosters nurturing, serenity, and allowing the patient to really be comfortable in their surroundings, essentially recreating a home away from home. The anticipation just started to uh, quickly escalate and we were just so excited and uncertain about what was going to happen, um, but we knew that our lives were about to change. And uh, in no time, uh, we were in the uh, delivery room and we saw her come out and when we heard those first cries, we just knew that our miracle had arrived. There was just a lot of um, nerve-wracking emotions just flying around and we weren't sure how to uh, approach uh, anything really and, and now we're feeling a lot more comfortable with where we're at. We're in our own home. I'm home and it's just wonderful to finally be um, where I'm at again. What has been so exciting for me is that I have started working for Florida Hospital in the past year and part of why I came here was my excitement over their vision for women's strategy for Central Florida for the future. And this is a vision that incorporates women through all generations, from women that are older, have reached their prime, or are now in their golden years, to even young women. And this strategy, I think, is going to improve the quality of life of women in the community. Therefore, the families of Central Florida, I see it elevating our entire community. I'm so excited to be a part of this.